हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टारगेट 100 इन मैथमेटिक्स बाय शिवेश कुमार सिंह एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव फॉर टर्म एंड एग्जामिनेशन फॉर ग्रेड नाइन एडवांस ओके एंड दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी रिलेटेड विद रोटेशनल सिमेट्री इट्स ऑर्डर एंड मैग्नीट्यूड ओके सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द क्वेश्चन लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज़ द मीनिंग ऑफ रोटेशनल सिमेट्री रोटेशन मीन्स moving in the direction of a circle maybe it is clockwise or it is counter clockwise doesn't make a difference okay so rotational symmetry means if by moving in a circle we come to the previous position again means the picture maps on to itself means they overlap each other then it is called rotational symmetry okay and what will be the order order will be how many times they are overlapped from 0 degree to 360 degree that will be called order of the rotational symmetry okay and its magnitude means what is the angle for which it is overlapped so with the help of example we will discuss these things in detail and i am sure you will understand that see for example question can be what is the rotational symmetry of this pentagon regular pentagon okay uh, definitely the figure should be regular pentagon be regular figure because all sides will be equal only then it can be overlapped otherwise no okay so what you can do here you can take a center point here so that we can fix it and we can rotate the picture now if you see we take a fixed point here and if we rotate so that it can come here and other points also should be overlapped with the next point only then it will be called rotational symmetry okay so to explain this i have taken the help of geogebra app application it's a very good application for the graphic use so just try to understand that i'm sure you will enjoy it see this is the regular pentagon i have taken with the help of a circle why circle so that we can see that whether all points are on the same place with the same distance with the center or no because if we will not fix it somewhere then maybe its distance or its length will be changed okay so this center point this is blue color center point you can see here and we are going to rotate through this point just try to understand this see first of all this point starts rotating in this direction in counter clock in clockwise direction and for this point you see for this 72 degree it is coming at the same place again means this pentagon is overlapped with itself when firstly for the 72 degree so this 72 degree is the magnitude 72 degree is the magnitude because it is overlapping itself firstly at 72 degree now what is order order will be how many times it will overlap itself within 360 degree okay so let's talk about this one time it has been done yes 72 degree means one time here it has been overlapped now second when it will overlap let's see now if it starts moving again then you can see up to 144 degree it is overlapping again so 144 degree again it is overlapping itself now start rotating again you see we have to see up to 360 degree okay so you can see here again it is overlapped at 216 so at 216 it is again overlapped with itself so third time it was next it can be overlapped by again if you add uh, 72 degree there then you will see yes it is overlapped again so for 288 degree again it is overlapped and finally you will see at 360 degree again it is overlapped okay so what you can see here you can see that this pentagon regular pentagon from 360 degree 0 to 360 degree it is overlapping itself for how many times five times so its order will be five and for how many angles for how much angle it is overlapping itself firstly it is overlapping itself for 
72 degree. So, 72 degree will be its magnitude. Okay, like this you can find the order and magnitude of the rotational symmetry. Here you will have to understand one thing that if order of any regular figure is 1, it means from 0 degree to 360 degree it is not overlapping itself at any other angle except 360. Means only one place is possible for the rotational symmetry. So, in that case there will be no rotational symmetry okay no rotational symmetry if its order is 1 why because order is 1 it means it is overlapping itself only one time in a circle from 0 degree to 360 degree okay so it means there is no rotational symmetry you understood this thing I am sure if not if you want any other explanation please write in the comment I will tell you okay now, similarly we can do this question, determine whether each figure has the rotational symmetry. Now see, this is a parallelogram and again if you make the circle here, this I am doing it directly for you. See, if you fix this point with the center, so what you can see here, parallelogram does not mean that you need to uh, put all the sides equal or it can be a rhombus also, yes. So if you rotate this thing for 180 degree then it will be overlapped with itself okay jo just uh, ignore this zigzag line okay see this is 180 degree so 180 degree first time it will cover 180 degree for the first time it will come here to itself and after that it will come here again at 360 degree okay so it will map onto itself for two times. So, its order will be 2 and what will be its magnitude? 180 degree. Okay, Like this you can find the rotational symmetry, its order and magnitude. Next what we can do? They can ask you which of the following figure has point symmetry. See point symmetry means I am sure you have studied about the rotation about a point or you can say image with respect to origin okay it is related with that only so point symmetry means a figure which has magnitude of 180 degree can have point symmetry so if you remember this its magnitude magnitude of pentagon was 72 degree so it cannot have point symmetry but magnitude of this parallelogram or rhombus it was 180 degrees. So, this figure will have a point symmetry. Okay, Like this you can solve various questions. Yes, I, I understand that this type of question you will have to imagine yourself. Your imagination, your visualization power should be very very strong for such questions. You will have to rotate the things in your mind Okay, and then you understand whether it will overlap itself or not. I am sure you understand this lesson and do not forget to see other videos for other questions and if you have any problem then you can write in the comment. I will try to explain in a better way but if you think that such videos will help you to increase your knowledge please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends also. Thank you.